Hello there, I want to talk to you about the rocket which came with these uh, three carriages but I ordered and I got from WD Models in Chesterfield these. These are the L and MR flatbed wagon which there's three of them inside and an L and MR third class open carriage also there's three inside. These were from the Hornby website $69.99 but as I got them from WD Models slightly cheaper they're £65 each so I saved myself a bit of money there so it's worth trying to go to your local model shop like I did because they're much cheaper than Hornby prices. So let's open up this one first and so let's just show you the size of that. There's a bit of information there. I'll read you, I won't read all of it, I'll read a bit of it. It says L and MR flat bed wagon, general goods vehicle or merchandise wagons of the later Stevens period were simple four wheeled platform vehicles with sprung three foot diameter wheels and were typically around four foot inches length with a superficial surface of a platform area of a 75 square foot able to carry a considerable quantity of light goods by about four tons weight. By 1841 dumb buffers and couplings chains were fitted and as the decades progressed the length of the wagons shortened and the width increased creating a greater load area. So that's a bit about it. These are from the, uh, you can see these at the National Railway Museum. It's the largest railway museum in the world with exhibitions and collections Integrating over 300 years of British Railway history. Quite dark, so you can't quite see, so I'll have to open it up. And it's just a picture there. It's quite light, this, not too heavy. Nice presentation box, quite difficult to get out. There we go. Carefully push this. I think that they will be the same. I'll only show you one. Very light and delicate. I presume these are little steps that are just here. You can see so they can step onto. <laughs> no non spring buffers. So it's just basically four wheels on the platform. And then here we've got, got these horrible little couplings, so I don't like. They're very difficult and fiddly to put on. Again, the same with these um, open carriages. Got them from WD Models in Chesterfield. Hornby price $69.99. WD Models price £65. So, saved a few pence there. I'll just show you the back again. I'll read a bit, bit of this. I won't read all of it. Having established a concept of first and second class rail travel, it was only a matter of time before railway companies created a lower fare third class of the carriage of the working class, especially in the densely populated industrial areas companies such as the Manchester and Bolton and Bury Railway, the Manchester and Leeds Railway and the Sheffield Ashton Underline and Manchester Railway all use open third class carriages mostly for standing passengers but sometimes fitted with a rudimental bench or benches. The L and MR considered the possibility of creating a third class as early as 1839 due largely to market pressure from the MB and BR and M and LR but the directors were afraid that this was lower fares it would draw passengers away from the first and second class trains that's a bit about it again this is um, from the National Railway Museum quite light Got a picture on the back Pull this out oh, again I'll just get only one out because they're all exactly the same so it's basically the same thing as a flatbed, but just, well this isn't even, this is still standing, it's not even got any benches in it as you can see. So, I mean, you can see the doors, but they don't actually open. It's got a little step there so you can step in. There are three steps, so, so if it rained or snowed, you're gonna get pretty much wet and there's not much cover unless you sat down inside it. Very basic. I mean, it would be okay, be okay for a nice hot sunny day, you'd be right but as I said rain and snow <laughs> no thank you got a bit of detail on the bottom there a bit of strength those crossbars on the bottom there okay so let's take a look at it on the demonstration line right this is my rocket I put one of each 
what, what I've got, I've got one of the flatbed third class and the first class. It's really fiddly to put these little couplings on. Can you see? It takes about five minutes. And then you put the next coupling on and you accidentally knock that off and then you've got to go back and put that on again. I tried with these, with these, but no luck because keep on wanting to spring open all the time. Next thing I found were, were these pliers. But I need because it's a bit big and bulky. What well, I need some like some pliers, but this size of these tweezers. If I could have some, some tweezers, were not not so bendy, that'd be perfect. I don't want you know I want them to, I don't want a spring in them. You see, I wanted to be able to close it and fit through the, that little gap there and that little gap there and that little gap there. Anyway, have a go at see what this does. Well, at least it's done that. I'll try and bring it back now. Now, I would put this on my main layout but as the couplings are so fiddly as soon as I try and pick these up the, the couplings come straight off again and uh, uh, like I said they're so fiddly so I'm only going to do it on my test track here and the last few guys I think you get the idea now Last guy, just try something. Don't know how well this will work. Well, that's my, nearly about to say Flying Scotland there for a second. That's my rocket with the flat bed, third class and first class. I've got a picture of the couplings. So here's a picture of the couplings right here. So you see how small they are and fiddly. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little video. Don't pass by without subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.